crawl of New York City. We're hitting up new places, places that we've never had. We're gonna judge them. We're starting with Patsy's in East Harlem. Then we're going up to the Bronx, then to Queens, Brooklyn, and we're gonna hit up as many spots as we can. And then hopefully by the end of it, we'll have a clear winner. And that will be our favorite pizza. Patsy's was, was uh, established in 1933. It is a thin crust, old school slice. So we're starting with a really like basic New York, right, classic New York slice. Guys. Pizza Mike? shop one. What? Pizza shop one. Out of eight, I wanted to give it an eight, but just so I have, I, I can make comparisons later. I'm giving it a seven. Oh. Uh, it was definitely the best slice I've had in New York. <laughs> I think that it was very generic pepperoni, so I bumped it to a six point nine. <laughs> the floppiness in the middle kind of got to me, but the flavors were all there. The dough was awesome. Wow. All, all in all, an amazing slice. Um, but for today, I'm gonna give it a six. Louis and Ernie's was opened by Louis and Ernie Otuso in 1947. We're expecting here a, another classic New York pizza, which is actually what we're going for for the rest of the day. So, it definitely reminded me of the pizza I ate growing up, but like the best version you could possibly have of the pizza you were growing up having. So I gave it a 5.7. Good crust, held up well, 5.5. I was kind of romanced by the vibe of the place. Something like just called me back. So for different reasons, I'm giving it a six. It reminded me a lot of the pizza I grew up eating, like town pizza. It had the cornmeal crust, 6.2. We can't film inside, but we're going to New Park Pizza in Queens. From our research, the most legendary place in so it's gonna take us back to Brooklyn. To New Park. This pizza was less like town pizza and more like pizza you get in the city. It kind of reminded me of Lombardi's a little bit, but the pepperoni was different. The pepper was really good here. I gave it a seven out of eight. A little too much cheese for my for my liking. Pepperoni is really good. A little bit too much cheese, not enough sauce, not enough acidity. So with the doughiness and the cheese, it's a little bit a little bit weighty. It tasted like they had really good ingredients and stuff. Uh, I give it a five. As tasty as the first slice to the day. Eight. Headed to New York's probably most famous pizza, Defara, in South Brooklyn. All the pizzas have been made by the same guy, I think, for like 50 years, 60 years or something. The good news is our band is gonna smell like a pizza shop for a couple weeks. Yeah, it's awesome. So much better the than bad the news is it's also gonna smell like farts. This is cool. This one's winning so far. Hope you guys are having a good time on your pizza crawl here. That's yours? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, awesome, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> kind of off the scale. Man, <laughs> <laughs> Look, look. He shook my hand. Look, he <laughs> we're shook my hand. We're never watching. <laughs> so we just uh, tried Defara's. I think there were two different types of cheese. I think there was salted and fresh mozzarella. And then he cut fresh basil right off the stems. It was amazing. I'm giving it the highest score I can possibly give it. 7.5. Awesome vibe, family vibe in the place. Everyone's really nice. Maybe there is no such thing as absolute perfection, but 7.7. .7. Best pizza of the day. 
Not much I can say. 7.99999. Defaro's breaking the rules, buddy. 10. <laughs> <laughs> Was it upside down? <laughs> <laughs> The next restaurant we're going to is Totona's in Coney Island. It was opened in 1924. The Ramones used to go there. Blondie used to go there. Lou Reed, the original owner's great grandson, runs the place. Really excited about this place. Yeah, sit in the Ramones booth. That's probably good. There should be a picture right above there. A side picture on the wall there. They sort of like, they used to come pretty stumped. They sort of like one pie for each. One pie, small each. My great grandfather, uh, 1924, he opened this. So we got 90 years of The way they say in Italian is Todoni. It means little Tony in Italian. He was Anthony, he was a little guy. This is a cold fire, 800, 900 degree oven. That's the trick to eat, right? Cold is pork, yeah. Cold. So one of it, you know, use good ingredients too. Yeah. I really had a good time in here. Larry in there is a really nice guy. He had a different technique with making the pizza. He put the sauce on the top, so uh, the crust was really nice and really nice and crisp at the bottom. Totono's gets a 7.6. I really thought that uh, the Fars was gonna be the best pizza. I gave it a 7.99999, but I don't know, man. This place has got it all. <laughs> Perfect date. All right, fuck it, 6.9. I broke the rules for the Faro. I've got to break the rules for this place. I'm fucking full. Ten. Pizza, baby! Oh, pizza. 